what's up boutique babies welcome back to another nail review video in this video we're reviewing our monthly bornprettystore.com products and if you want to save some coins on your purchase don't forget to use my 10 percent off discount code i will be leaving that coming up in the video in a short clips but i start off very briefly just going over my five nails making sure that the free edge is filed and my cuticles are pushed back and i'm just showing you a different method to get all those scrapings off just using the opposite end of your tool i just want to apologize about how long it's been in between videos i i know it's been a while i have started working part-time so just bear with me i'm i'm trying to find my oomph and my love for nails again it's it not not my love i shouldn't use that word um if anybody else out there has a channel and knows what it's like being so consistent for years doing videos for years and years and years and years and doing them like almost every day and then kind of just i don't know you go through phases where you're like oh i'm just over this and then you come back and then you know you go through things like that so i just want to apologize for being so inconsistent lately i know that you guys have been so loyal and so great and so all you see me here doing really quick and yeah just i'm sorry guys so getting right back into the video just removing the shine from my nail place there's my 10 percent born pretty store discount code sharon carrero all cap save yourself some coins guys this is the eggshell uv gel so cute they sent me a rhinestone gel glue which is phenomenal really enjoyed using this actually i use this in the end to place my stones and i have to say ladies and gents all these products that i use in this video are five out of five ten out of ten stars i haven't had any issues with the nail set um you know these are just the the um full well tips that you know you just leave them on for a couple weeks you don't have to though they're just something simple for you this is their solid nail tip gel now i've showed you the bags on each of these products so you know what the product number is this is their born pretty painting gel and the number one it's a bright cherry apple red cherry apple red i mean apple red i meant to say like a cherry red but cherry apple came out instead <laughs> Here's another one of those 9D cat eye magnetic gel polishes. So pretty. It has like the rainbow holographic effect, but also the cat eye metallic effect as well. I'm just using my OPI Bond Aid to remove any debris, any shine left on my nails, any oils left. So this is that easy, easy stuff to use, guys. Remember I used this before with the nude? And it's very similar to using the gel glue that you would use to, but this is easier because look, you don't even have to hold it. Like it can sit in place as you're getting it perfect. Just scrape off the excess and put it right back in your pot. Boom, no waste. That's why I love this solid nail tip glue stuff. I rave about this product because it really is such a great product. There's no mess. It's not fussy to mess around with. You could get all that excess underneath. If there's too much that spills out from the nail plate itself, you could go right underneath that tip and collect all that excess and put it right back in the pot. You don't have to leave it extended like that if you don't want to. I know that sometimes I do like to leave it extended. So it gives that natural like nail bed effect, like the reverse French effect type. So now I'm just going in on my thumb really quickly. And what I did was I pre-picked the sizes before I even started laying them down. And yeah, I'm just going in with my tool, my, my cuticle pusher and collecting any excess. And I actually go under the nail as well and get all that excess. I did that on a couple of the tips. One I left extended because of the design that I did. And then I just cut them down and we're gonna actually go in with our 100, 150 grit hand file. And we're gonna go over that surface, just making sure that everything is filed in shape and everything is nice and even across the top and we have a nice surface to work with. I actually really enjoy using these types of tips because 
you don't have a whole lot you have to do with it like it really just consists of you laying it down with your product underneath and boom it's so easy like it's just so easy to do it takes a lot of that time out where you don't have to be sitting here using the acrylic or uv gel getting all sticky and messy and i don't know it just saves a lot of time and a lot of stress really it just takes so much stress off your shoulders with not having to do all that other stuff and i really really enjoy using this process i really enjoy using born pretty stores products i've been using them since i started doing nails and they've only gotten better and better and better and they've always been good so um, that says a lot honestly especially when it comes to affordable nail products because as a lot of us know with affordability comes lack of quality usually so the fact that you can spend little money on these products and still get a great great nail product is mind-boggling because there's so many companies that charge an arm and a leg just to send you your nail products so yes i highly highly recommend bornprettystore.com for all your nail goodies they have so many to choose from i've been so so enjoying doing these reviews the last few months for them and i gotta say like Every time I get products in the mail, I'm so excited because I don't know what I'm gonna do. It literally is, like every time I get products to review for you guys, I freestyle every time. So I'm, I'm not out there looking for designs to like do with this stuff. I'm, I'm literally like on the spot coming up with a design that you can do with these products when you receive them in the mail. It, it, you know, these there's so many different designs that you could do with these products but i'm just showing you one way of how i did mine i'm doing like that really cool design that everyone is doing right now where they do kind of like a geometric shape on the nail and only do like half of it and fill it in i really really like that whole aesthetic um and yeah i just do like a couple different ideas on each of these nails and i end up adding stones in the end and we use some of the metallic drawing gel as well and some of the the diamond shiny one like the reflective kind so the kind that i got last month for a review i actually ended up using some of that again in this review with some of the outlining um same with the metallic silver drawing gel i used that to outline some of the little hearts that i did on my pointer finger and then i did like little stones in and around those hearts and just outlined um some of them with the metallic silver and then i outlined some of them with that bronze reflective glitter drawing gel and i really liked how everything came out so I actually ended up using the 5D solid gel in the eggshell. I did like a heart on the thumb with that and I outlined it in the silver metallic gel. Yeah, I did a lot of cool things on these nails. I hope you all stick around for the entire video and watch. It's not too long, just 18 minutes. So I really hope that you all enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, anything at all just pop it in the comments below and i will leave the links to all these gorgeous goodies in the description index as per usual and right here i'm just kind of doing like like the top half of the heart and it kind of doubles as like a cool looking french design as well but yeah i was going for like the top part of the heart you know it came out pretty i really liked it i liked it it was different and I just used my lining brush to kind of perfect those sides a bit more. But yeah, that's about it. I left everything in for you all. I left the stones, the top coating and everything. If you have any questions about the products that I've used, check the description index first. If you don't see it there, just pop it in the questions below. And I love you all so much. I will see you as soon as I possibly can. And yeah, um, I have a few things in the works for us just Bear with me, y'all. Y'all been so great. I love you all so much, and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all.